trouble looms. Imo will burn. Nandi Kanu wants hope. Uzedema ask Imo government to release detained chief priest. My dear, the problem is on. We all know how Governor Hope Uzedema became the governor of Imo State. Mm -hmm. Somebody who did not pass his party primaries yet won a general election. Still an amusement that everybody is still looking forward to getting, you know, the truth. As a matter of fact, uh, Sun asked the Supreme Court to explain how he became the governor. Supreme Court dodge. <laughs> That's not the issue for now. What's happening is, since Hope Ezedema came in, it's been one problem to the other. Nandi Kanu has asked him to release uh, a chief priest that has been detained or Imo will burn. Don't forget he has the backing of the N of the ESN. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. <laughs> this is terrible. Information obtained that has been reaching us is that the arrest of a chief priest during the recent crisis in the rural area has pitched the state government against the IPOBs. The report monitored online stated that Nigerian soldiers stormed communities in Oro that resulted into many deaths and loss of properties and also attacked several Sabbath churches. They set some ablaze and arrested the worshippers who were saying their prayers before the invasion. They were denied bail by the preceding judge on grounds, boring to the fact that their religion and their unfolded humor rest. IPOB has started speaking as the soldiers accuse the people that their loyalty rests with the IPOBs. Nandi Kanu noted that the synagogue of the chief priest was burned down and destroyed and he was later arrested. Nandi Kanu, who is on live broadcast from Houston, Texas, warned the governor to immediately release the chief priest or Imo State, Nigeria, will burn. Supreme Court Governor of Imo State, Hope Zedima, is not a Supreme. I want to warn you that the high priest, Igbolo, and some other women you sent the soldiers to adopt in Oro must be released. Otherwise, whatever you see in Imo, you will take. I am warning them, if they don't release them, Imo will burn. And that army you are planning to move into Biafra land will not stand. You are killing your very own people. What kind of a man are you? After doing what I would do in Imo, I will be the one to hand him over to the ICC, they, to the, that's International Criminal Court. They should release the chief priest and all those they have adopted. If you know Hope Ezedema, go and tell him. Tell Hope and Hope Obaze to release the rabbi, the rabbi, and or else they are looking for trouble in Imo State and they will get it. What kind of madness is this? That they have turned Imo State, their very own home, They've given it away, all in a bid for them to have position. This is rather very sad. You know, Unandi Kanu may not be your cup of tea. I mean, some I mean, everybody has their reservation as to what they think. But I don't understand how we all know what happened in the rural community and how Hope Zedema would rather stay with President Muhammad Buhari rather than defending his people. Of course, he will stay with President Muhammad Buhari because he's the one who gave him the opportunity to become a governor in Imo State through the Supreme Court. It's not a secret. Everybody is aware. Everybody knows what is going on in Nigeria. A man did not participate in an election, yet he won the election. I mean, the very primaries from the very beginning, you know, the person that won APC primaries in Imo State was, was the null disqualified for possessing dual candidacy. He had the AA and APC candidate, candidacy uh, nomination, and so he was disqualified. That was the person who won APC primaries. So if the APC candidate has been nullified or disqualified, so to say, 
how did APC have a candidate in that election? You see fraud that goes on in Nigeria unattended. Nobody speaking up, nobody saying the truth. That's Nigeria for you. Hence, Donald Trump, during the time he was the president of America, said, there is no rule of law in Nigeria. He was very correct. He may have his own whatever going on, but he was very correct with regards to that statement. You know, this is what this governor, after, you know, he's the one, as soon as he came in, the first thing he did, the, the party assigned, was to bring an emirate into Imo state. You know, straight away, an emirate came into Imo state. As if that is not enough. You know, emirate started, he started giving his own people away. Who does that? Who's the, who does that? How can you be fighting against your own? Giving out your own because you, you may, you know, you know, it's terrible what money can cause. Position. These are all things that when you die, it does not go with you. No man has died. And why is in the grave? He's still a lecturer. In the grave, he's still a professor. In the grave, he's still a president. No, no man, no man, no man. You know, and that's why we need to be very careful. What kind of legacy? We, some, some people don't mind. But will you sell your soul to the devil in exchange for what? For what? Money? Do you know that when a sick, one, one sickness, sickness, just one sickness, come into the life of a man, <laughs> you, will, you, you will go back to God and say, God, please. Eh? You will wish that even all the money, with all the money, you cannot move if God does not help. How can you put your people through untold suffering and, you know, the, 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 the rabbi of the synagogue was whisked away saying that he was loyal to IPOB. These are, these are, not, these are, not, these are not statements that have been confirmed. Listen, I, I don't have anything to do with IPOB or Imo State Governor, but just stating the facts and the obvious. Let's be very honest. How can you put your people in such a position, bring army into your state, the governor did not see anything. Do you know that even today, we got the news that from, from Sahara reporters, some girls, about 53, were carried away. Two dead. The others molested, to mention but a few things that have happened. And you think that you are free? No, your hands are dipped in blood. They are not just stained. They are dipped. And unless you change and ask those people for forgiveness, I am sorry, the end will not be good. Because you cannot allow people to suffer while you enjoy all the way. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.